Today we have a Dell Optiplex 790. You can find these all over eBay. This was a friend of mine's computer that I've actually previously worked on. I went ahead and pulled out the motherboard and everything inside of it. Even though this is a pre-built like office computer from the Sandy Bridge era, this has a Core i5-2400, which nowadays most people would hear Sandy Bridge and think, oh, that's old, that's useless, but that's not necessarily the case because these old processors still have usability left in them. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys what I'm actually going to do with this PC. But before we get to that, I wanna to talk to you guys about something you shouldn't do to your PC. I've taken everything out of this computer because I plan to clean it very well. I mean, it's not very dusty. I actually pulled this out last night and wiped this out, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and blow it out with my air compressor. But I took the back fan out. There it is right there. This actually came inside of it. This isn't always the case with the Optiplex computers since uh, this CPU does have onboard graphics. And from what I have researched based on uh, this number here on the back. This is a AMD Radeon R5 340X. Now you certainly won't be doing any gaming on this. This is more or less just to power your monitor. So let's go ahead and talk about what you shouldn't do to your PC and maybe something you should think about changing in your PC. And here we are, an infamous gray power supply. That's a very good sign, right? No, not really. Um, has anybody heard of Chief Max? Probably not. This is definitely a no-name PSU, and even though it claims 450 watts, I can almost promise you this power supply will not do 450 watts. It has no 80 plus rating, and honestly nowadays with decent power supplies being relatively cheap, you might wanna consider replacing this power supply, even in a computer like that, with something name brand like EVGA or Seasonic or Corsair, or whatever. This power supply is just way too light to actually be a 450 watt. A good name brand power supply will be much heavier than this. And uh, yeah, it needs replacing in this computer because that fan is definitely not happy. It's making some awful noise and it's just not worth opening a power supply to replace the fan, especially an old power supply like this. It just needs to be replaced and throw this out. Now this power supply does actually work, but with that fan making noise like it's making, you don't wanna run a power supply much longer when the fan is unhappy and making loud noise. You don't wanna risk, you know, potentially some of your components in your PC being taken out by a power supply that's gotten too hot because cooling on a power supply is very important. So let's go ahead and get this PC all cleaned out even more so than it is. And I'll talk to you guys about what this PC is going to be used for. So now what I'm gonna do just to make sure this fan is very clean and not grimy or anything like that as well as the motherboard you know it's just kind of grimy even though it's not dusty or anything like that it's just kind of grimy from being used over the years what i'm going to do is take some 91 percent isopropyl alcohol get this fan cleaned up really nice get the motherboard cleaned up really nice i'll tell you guys about the replacement power supply that i chose as well as there's no storage in this pc so went ahead and bought an ssd so I'll, I'll show you guys what that is also. So make sure if you ever clean any of your components this way, like a motherboard, you wanna take out the CMOS battery and give this plenty of time to dry. Also make sure you use 91% isopropyl alcohol and a little airflow never hurts, but give this plenty of time to dry and we can go ahead and temporarily power this on I'll show you guys it works and we'll talk about what I'm gonna do with it there we go looks nice and clean that entire motherboard I even did the back and also this fan right here looks 
pretty much brand new. Very happy with how those turned out. Got that grime off of there that's been on there for years. That's just kind of what happens to PCs. All right, there we go. We got everything put back in there. It's nice and clean. Temporarily put this in here just to show you this computer does work, but I will be taking this back out sometime next week to put in a new power supply, which is the Thermal Take Smart 430. Definitely a budget power supply, but a huge step up from something like this. Last time I worked on this computer, we suspected, or I suspected that the front switch, the wiring, which is right down in there, um, suspected something was going on there, but got it all plugged up, got the VGA, awful, hate those. I had my HDMI plugged up and then realized that the port on the back of here isn't a HDMI, it's a display port. So, and this monitor doesn't have display port. I had to grab the VGA. So, let's see there. It's on. Okay, that's kind of normal. Here we go. Yeah. Not sure if you guys can hear that, but that fan just made an awful sound. I don't even think, you listen to that guys. Sounds awful, which is exactly why I'm replacing it. So yeah, there you go. This PC definitely works. The fan has quit being so noisy, but my advice to you guys is don't wait until a fan in a power supply completely fails. When it's making noise like it was, it's time to replace the unit, okay? Because it could be catastrophic. Also for storage, I went with a budget crucial 2.5 inch SSD, a 480 gigabyte BX500. This computer is going to my dad. And even though this CPU is an older one, the i5-2400, it's a huge step up from what he's using now, which is essentially a mobile processor inside of a desktop. It's really slow. The operating system is on a hard drive. So this CPU along with the OS going on an SSD, it's gonna be a huge upgrade for him just to do basic things like browse the web. That's pretty much all he does and maybe move some photos over. And two four gig sticks of RAM to make eight total. Room in the future to go to 16 gigs of RAM with those two open slots. Very clean system. I think he's gonna be very pleased with it. We'll get that new power supply put in as well as that Crucial BX500, get Windows installed to it. I'm going to hang on to this for diagnostic purposes. So that's pretty much going to do it. I appreciate you guys watching. If you need any help, let me know down in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next video.